right, guys, we're in. Wait, Jesus. So many issues when we play Wi Fi. But we're here against Addison. Uh, if you guys are interested in finding, I should have done a team builder. I'm pretty sure it should be fine, the recording with OBS. OBS has just been not fun. I'm like this close to switching over to some different platform. Um, good luck, have fun. There it is. All right, so he, she is Terra, excuse me. She is Terra Ghost uh, Mesprit, which is expected because Snorlax was absolutely terrifying in this matchup for her. So, which is exactly why we didn't do the curse set. We really, 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 really want to see because ah, we really wanted to, but we didn't. Uh, Terra Ghost Mesprit. So we see Strafter, Grimmsnarl, Mesprit, Bomb Snow, expected. Muck, unexpected, interesting. Gligar, 100% was supposed to come. Our initial um, lead was going to be Cheesecake to get off our Terra instantaneously. No Raikou. Ooh. I do want to get rid of the fire, the, the fighting typing regardless. So that's cool. Big shout out to Kirby for the nickname Cheesecake. The legendary Cheesecake lives on. Um, Yeah, legit. Kind of a little bit surprised Raikou's not here against the rain team. I kind of wish that I was natural cure now instead of uh, Volt Absorb. You hate to see it. Am I Volt Absorb? I'm Volt Absorb. Beans. Ah, nonetheless. Let's get it popping. I know Addy's a little bit more of a chillaxed this season, so we're not gonna expect like her try hardness. In that case, she would have fucking slobber knocked me. <laughs> this is Vepsis. <laughs> she's using Vepsis' as, um, game because she's over at Vepsis' house. Brings in Knuckles. And we go Cheesecake. Alright. So since cheese kicks in, what I want to do, first of all, I can't even hear my game, so I'm going to fix that real quick. Oh god, oh. There we go. Cool, should build here now. So, I do want to get off my Terra. Like, quick. So we're going to go ahead and get the Terra off, and I'm going to Volt Switch. And then if she brings in Gligar, we'll just switch into, um, we'll just switch into the guy into Dante. Cool beans. Let's see what this mess is. This mess probably wants to go for a knockoff or something like that. Uh, big is super happy to have Palmot. <laughs> oh, that chewed. That absolutely chewed. Is that a Soul Vested? Hold on. I think that's Vested. I do want to count that real quick. That did no types of damage. Let's see. A knockoff comes out for sure skis, right? Palmont to a Mesprit. Because even though I am timid, I still should have done so much more damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Possibly it's all busted. Well, maybe not. Uh, I have this. I would have liked this for the Staraptor. The helmet. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes it just be like that. I could just go into Veen, though. And use the eject pack. I think we'll do that. I'd rather keep the helmet for the Staraptor. I don't know the, me I don't know the mechanic if uh, the eject pack gets me out. Tough luck. Interessante. So did that do 14% or 20%? That did 20%. Okay, so that's not a soul vested. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So let's do some damage, yeah. Um, I could Parasong. song. Earth power seems pretty evident. If he wants to go, if she wants to go for a U-turn, she can. I could go for rain dance. Expecting the bomb snow to come out. I could just go to bomb snow now. I mean to bump us now. I kind of want to do that. I switch off first. So she stays in. Terra's for the Terra Ghost. There's the U-turn. 
What sucks is that um, I don't touch this mess bear, unfortunately. And that's going to be a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. But we can use this to our advantage later on. Look at the, the texture of Snorlax's skin, or his fur. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm gonna body slam. She should just go back right into Mesprit, right? What's her spikes? Okay. She just wants a hazard stack. Uh, we do have Dawn Fan. So what we'll do is we'll go here. We'll body slam. You got a para? No para. <sighs> now I wish I had crunch. Uh, I'm gonna hard switch into Don Julio, I think. Unfortunately, I can't rapid spin either. The Ghost Terra on Mesprit's actually kind of crazy. But the good news is... Hmm. Trying to formulate a game plan here. Oh, body slam again. I had a crunch initially, then I took it off for brick break, which is gonna end up biting me in the butt. A little bit. Terra Ghost was really good. Stays in. I do need this thing gone for um, Palmot. So, damage is good. Get the para, which is awesome. And I do want to keep Bumpus healthy. But at the same time... I mean, I can go Donphan now, right? But if he goes, if she goes Mesprit... Then that's pretty risky on my part. I could go Naveen. How many more turns of rain do I have? One. So, what I want to do is I'll Body Slam again. Chip damage is good. She stays in. I just need Chip. I just need Chip. Once this thing goes down, Palmon goes crazy. So, she could go for U-Turn. Which would be nice, because if she gets the U-Turn off, and then I get the Eject button off, then she stays in and I can get in, um... I can get in Floatzel. <laughs> the lighting in this room makes my outfit look fire. <laughs> it looks fire. <laughs> she goes Spike. Oh, I got Spike. Got the drizzle up. She sees I'm not Damp Rock. Goes for Spikes again. Cool. I'm gonna go for Surf this time. Yeah, let's go for Surf. So her plan is just to keep these rocks up, which is fair. Um, getting... Keeping them off the field is going to be rough. Don Fan is not going to be having a good time against this. <laughs> Daddy? That has to be a bomb snow. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> Alright, here's the thing. I am going to not let her get up the Aurora Veil. Can I live? I'm pretty sure I'd EV to live a hit from this thing. So what I want to do is I'm going to get up a rain dance in front of this thing. Kind of go for a little bit of a ballsy play first. And then as she goes for a Aurora Veil. Swords dance. Hello. Hello. That is not what I expected to come in this matchup. Hello? Let's go bump us. Bump us was here for Raikou for a special version of this. <laughs> Which this is not. Uh, let's call you adamant. Yeah. Wood hammer. I should die to this. Yeah. Crazy. Bama KO Snorlax.
All right, now we're in a little bit of a pickle. So, against an Obama snow. Floatzel doesn't do much. There's 52 in the rain. <clears throat> Brick Break also doesn't do as much as I would like. I think Cheesecake is the play. But I'm going to take so many hazards. Which is not, which is literally not ideal. Super not ideal. <laughs> I mean, if she wants to switch, she can switch. It's gonna get rid of the swords down. I'm gonna take rocks, like two spikes. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. I could go for a knockoff to be spicy. If I Volt Switch and she stays in, I'm in a bad spot, so I'm just going to close combo. Yeah. I really wanted to. My gut said to. <laughs> my, my gut really, really wanted to. So we're going to close combat. Bid to Mahe. She's checking if I'm fucking... I'm gonna go Dawn Fan now. Uh, yeah. Keeping getting these hazards away are not gonna be very fun. You know what the good part about this whole thing is? Is that if my calcs are correct, um, Floatso kills um, Obama Snow with Brick Break. Unless it's Chobble Berry, which would be. Which makes sense, I guess. But I think Light Clay makes more sense. I think. You turn, takes Rocky home to chip, and comes Mesprit. Oh boy. I think what I should do is get up rocks myself. Oy vey. These hazard stacking shenanigans are gonna be not very fun. Bring in Mesprit. Like you have to, right? To keep me from rapid spinning? I mean, do you fear a knockoff? I don't have it, but Knuckles, yeah. I don't remember, because I didn't take a screenshot, so I'm gonna take a screenshot now. I'm gonna say peace to myself. Ah, a screenshot. Alright, uh, Staraptor isn't- <laughs> Staraptor's here. Fuck! This defensive Terra on this Mesprit is pretty good, pretty good. So here's what we're gonna do. We have a plan, guys. Everyone calm the fuck down. I'm trying not to cuss. Please call me out when you hear me. I have one turn of rain left. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set up my own hazards first. Oh, this may hurt. I don't know how much damage it took. I mean, I got my rocks up, right? Oh my god, I'm, I'm blind. Ah! Come on, dude. For real? Unbelievable. I mean, I took a bunch of damage. Uh, she's kind of not a chat strapped anymore. And it's not working. Come on. <laughs> Getting so tilted. Uh, this strategy is very good. I just need to go on the offense. That's what we're gonna do. No Blastoise, right? Yeah, no Blastoise. Hmm. Let's go Naveen. And let's start doing some Floatzel stuff. Let's go on the offense. This defensive, this defensive play in the beginning ain't, ain't working. So we're going to get our eject button off. Hopefully she goes for like a U-turn and stays in. That'd be great. Let's for Shadow Ball. We're gonna pop out of here. Seventy-four. Problem is, I don't think I can live another round of hazards again. So this may be the last time I get fucking rain, which is unfortunate. So Float Soul's gonna do some damage here now. So let's go ahead and go to let's go Float Soul. Let's go Weasley, and let's put some pressure on. 
I would like to find out if that's the Raptor Scarfed. If the Raptor Scarf Palmas is more important. So we're gonna go Wave Crash here. If she wants to go um, Obama, so she definitely can. But my place to Wave Crash. It's going to obliterate anything that wants to come in. And we need to go on the offensive because we're we're in the back foot way too much. We're way too far in the back. Way too far in the back. Obama snow? No. Sacks off this. Okay. So, if my calculations are correct, if you are heavy duty boots, you do not live this whatsoever. If you are not heavy duty boots, you no longer live it. Because I have brick break. In regards to Obama snow. Thirty-three to thirty-nine percent. Uh, if you take rocks, I think you're in range. That's if you're like heavily invested in HP. Thirty-seven to forty-four. If you're max HP, thirty-one to thirty-six. Daddy, what's up, Daddy? You gonna take rocks? You do. Thirty. Let me see. That's 25. 31. That looks about right. I'm gonna brick break. That looks like a roll that I have to take at this point in the matchup. If she's Choppleberry, she's Choppleberry, right? Yeah. Fuck me, man. Good prep, good prep, Addison. Okay. Good stuff, Addy. Alright. So we gotta double down. 74%. How much? I'm 74 health. Can I get the rain back up? It doesn't matter, right? 18? No, I can't. So Naveen is now a sack. Uh, we go cheesecake. And try to do lots and lots of damage. Yeah, we go cheesecake. Hmm. Mesprit was fantastic on her part. The chopper berry was hers. In theory. Could I have probably sacked. Dawn fan. Yeah. I think that would have been the safer bet to sack Dawn fan. And comes in Knuckles. But what's cool is that Double Shock is now completely free. Come on. To a Mesprit. That's a lot of damage. Let's just call you max HP 252. You're like pretty healthy. 63 to 74%. I should. I could Volt Switch. Um, Volt Switch seems pretty free. So I think Volt Switching is my play to get a little bit more damage just to make this a little bit more guaranteed. So let's do that. Oh my god. Shit. Looks pretty spadef to me. All right, uh, okay. So we're gonna go into Veen. Sack it off and bring back in Cheesecake. 63 to 74%. She looks to be pretty spadef. I'm not gonna let her U-turn out. So Gardevoir is definitely not the play. Ugh, could it be the play though? Hmm. I am stuck between a rock and a hard place here, team. Can I live a shadow ball after two spikes and a stealth rock? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> so my play is a good cheesecake. And hope that this kills. 
but <laughs> yeah, the hazards overwhelm me because I couldn't get them off. If I had crunch on Snorlax, but alas, here we are. Yeah. This may not kill if she's got some defense investment, but that looked pretty spadef to me. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing's so fat. Yeah. I guess the best the best thing that we can come out of this is that um The problem is that we lose the strap right now. Tis the issue. Jesus Christ, this thing is fat as foot. <laughs> Gigi's Addison. I'm having a good time at this point. Uh, Tiana now kills with anything, which is nice, but we get blown ass backwards by Staraptor. Yeah, Levitate, that's pretty cool. So we'll kill this. Staraptor comes in, he's gonna blow us up. And that's GG. This Mesper fucking was good. Good stuff. I had Crunch on Snorlax initially and I took it off. That's just me going against my gut. So if we had Crunch on Snorlax, we'd have been in a fantastic spot, to be completely honest. But, alas, here is the bird. And then we bid you guys adieu. Gardevoir. Thank you for your services. GG's team. GG's. Do me a massive favor, guys, down in the description below will be a link to Addison's channel. Watch her side of the battle. I'm sure it's probably a lot more entertaining than it is over here. Uh, and she's playing over there with uh, Vepsis' game, so she's over at Vepsis' house. And I feel them. And I love them both to absolute fucking death. And uh, we'll come back. We'll get you guys a win next week. The goal is to get to 500. That is the goal this season. Get to 500. We can get to 500. Um, you know, we may even have a shot of playoffs. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, team trying to figure it out. <laughs> trying to figure it out with this team, but I'm sure we'll get our footing. Now that we have Palma, we'll be in a good spot. This is just a product of Addison just being Addison. So, make sure you leave the like, subscribe if you're new. With that being said, I'm going to get the pad up here. Have a rest of your day. And above all else, be nice. Peace.